Hello, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, and you know I am glad that you are here. Today we have an interesting video. Okay, so I don't know if you were here last week. Of course you were here last week, right? Yeah, we had to watch last week because now we know what's coming up this week. Unfortunately, what I promised last week is not coming up this week. So your girl got this quick and easy pattern to do a thrift flip with. Well, I have learned <laughs> that the pattern was not quick or easy, at least for me. I am a novice when it comes to sewing. And so while I do have the thrift flip pretty much done, it's really oversized and I don't know what to do with it. And I'm just not 100% happy with it. So I didn't want to share it with you today. So instead, I figure instead of flipping, let's go thrifting. <laughs> I know we never can deny a good thrift trip, right? So today we're gonna to go to Springfield, Massachusetts. We are going to get an opportunity to go to a savers there. It's been a busy week for me. My son went off to college, so I sent him off and the girls have been busy with all their activities, their preschool activities, because they're both going into high school. So it's been a busy week for my family. However, there's always time for a thrift, right? At least there is for me. So don't forget to like and subscribe right now. I need your support. As we record this video, we are less than 150 people away from a thousand followers. And I'm so excited. Subscribers, you guys have to subscribe if you're not subscribed because once we get to 1,000, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I wanna do a giveaway in celebration of hitting my first thousand here on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed just yet, please do so. All right, let's hit the road. Let's go to Springfield, Massachusetts to do some thrifting instead of flipping. I'm not quite sure why I'm starting at the purses. <laughs> it wasn't my intention, but here I am and let's go look at them. This is kind of cute. It might be able to be even turned into a fanny pack, but it's got like a little bit of storage in there. And also underneath, I kind of like this. The handle on this is so cute, but I don't need another bag like this. I love fanny packs. <laughs> this is cute. These are kind of cool. I don't know how I'll fit in them. I don't know about the pointy toe, but it's worth a try. These are kind of cute as well, but they're a little too big. And Klein. I'm here too. <laughs> Like hello. Put a cow candle in it. That's kind of cute. This is the wall of I'm gonna get you. <laughs> This is kind of cute for like, maybe putting oil and vinegar or, I don't know, like little olives or something in it. $1.49 made in Mexico. I like it. I'm taking a trip down the fabric slash curtain aisle. I am losing battery. <laughs> So now I'm going to have to be strategic on what I shoot. I'll show you what I get though, I promise. Just to give you a little update, I am looking at dresses now. Um, I'm having a hard time finding dresses because I get overwhelmed here. I always get overwhelmed with a new store. Do you? Okay, this was unexpected. 
this is actually a two-piece suit that fits me like a glove and it's only $5.99. I'm so excited. So the pants are a little tight around the thighs. But what a suit. I don't know. I do have the pants on over my pants. So I might have actually a little bit more wiggle room than I think I do. I'm kind of really liking this suit. A pantsuit, wow. Huh. This is fun, but it's a little too oversized and I don't like the shoulder pads, but it's a two piece. It's really cute. This is a Valerie Stevens evening wear outfit. The only thing it's a little too loose in the waist. I do like it. Got a lot of sequence on it. I would totally wear this during the day. <laughs> oh my God, this is Liz Claiborne. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. This is stunning. I love the design on it. I don't know if I'll fit the skirt, but oh my gosh, I need to try it on. I kind of did, but now I kind of don't. So oh, don't it be rude or anything, but this reminds me of like a grandma going to a school. What? Really? Yeah, like grandma. Okay, so I guess that was good. that's the decision. Like, doesn't it? No, I kind of liked it. But the skirt doesn't fit anyway, so. Oh, you're wearing a skirt. Yeah, it's got a skirt. Oh. But it doesn't fit. So I guess that's that. Okay, I made some hard cuts. Anissa doesn't like the fact that these are cropped. They are gross. <laughs> these I don't necessarily need. They look comfy, but I don't need them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was not really feeling this. It's Ralph Lauren. I like Mean Girl Mom. Mean Girl Mom vibes. So I don't. Yeah, I don't want to be like that. And these are some Nike pants. I don't necessarily need those either. Um, Anissa and I decided that this is really kind of not my aesthetic. It's kind of loose and flowy. It's not what I normally wear. And then I was going to get this t-shirt for my daughter, but I found a better option for her. So we had a great time thrifting and you know what that means. It is time now for the haul. I really love this two-piece suit by Cara Mia. As you can see, the skirt is kind of a maxi length. However, I think I want to thrift flip it and make the skirt above the knee. I like the idea of being able to show some leg and the jacket is kind of long and overwhelming for you know, the length of the skirt. So I feel like this might be a good thrift flip. Got this, it was $5.99. Everything that I purchased was I believe 20% off because I had a coupon because I donated some items to them. So I believe this came out to $4.80 for a two piece suit. Yes. This Jones wear suit, two piece pants suit was $12, $11.99, and then I took another 20% off of that. It's a navy color, and as you know, I love to have that one button closure because I feel like it just slims down a long torso. Um, even, you know, if you're thin, it still just does a really nice job in snatching your waist if you have a longer torso. Even, I think, if you have a short torso, I think those one button enclosures really do work. But this was, yeah, a Jones wear suit for $12 with another 20% off. I am really loving it. Definitely ready for some meetings, some uh, taking some names, you know, doing some business. <laughs> All right, it's getting to be cuddle season. So you gotta get yourself some new sweatshirts or pullovers. And I got this one, it says Cape Cod on it. And it's by Cuffy's Natural Series. Never heard of that before probably just a, a, a brand that's on Cape Cod, but I really love the collar on this and it's a little bit oversized and you know, it just makes me feel nice and cozy. It's great for those days where you know, it's kind of chilly out, but it's, the sun's still out. It's so you know it's gonna get warmer, but right now you're cold. That's what I'm talking about. Cuddle season is coming. Girls, hook it up now. Get your gear. <laughs> 
Then surprisingly, I got quite a few, actually a majority of the things that I thrifted were accessories. I got this cute little bucket hat for $2.49. I got this really great little um, toiletry bag. It actually, this is the bottom and the bottom has the zipper. I showed it to you in the video. I kind of want to make this into a fanny pack if I can make that happen. I do love my fanny packs. And then speaking of fanny packs, this black one, although it wasn't leather, this would have sealed the deal for me, really excite, excited. This might've been the find of the day had it been real leather, it's pleather, but it was still cute. And it was, what was the price on this one? $3.99, ah, possibly a little bit overpriced for plastic or pleather, excuse me. This belt, I loved it, $3.99. The uh, Lucky Shoe Horn. This is gonna look really cute with a neutral color outfit, $3.99. And then I also got this fanny pack, which is more kind of sporty and um, kind of industrial. And these are kind of like coming in style, like tons of fanny packs are coming in style, but you know, this is kind of like an exercise belt right here. But I go for walks with my dogs all the time. My dogs, my dog all the time. Oh Lord, please no, no more than one dog. Um, and so for $2.99, I thought that this would be a really good pouch to carry with me. I also got this really cute tote bag. It's got the little two cans on it. It was $2.99. It's quilted, it's got the vibrant colors, and you know, I love my vibrant colors. And the final thing I got was this home goods item made in Mexico. It's uh, got the made in Mexico sign on the bottom right there. And uh, it was $1.49, and I think it'd be great for jewelry or for, like I said, you know, maybe oil and vinegar or some kind of like a little snacks. I don't know. Either way, I just thought it was cute. Okay, now's your chance to weigh in. Tell me, what did you like? What did I leave behind that you thought I should have picked up? There were quite a few things. I do regret leaving some of those summer hats behind, but you know, we're getting into the fall weather and I really have fall on the brain. Ugh. I don't know. I should have picked them up. They weren't that expensive and they were kind of cute. So that's probably one regret I have. But I have to admit, I really do love all of the items that I did thrift and I'm really excited to incorporate them into my wardrobe. So if you have not subscribed just yet, please do me a favor. Like and subscribe right now because like I said, we are so close to 1000 subscribers and I would truly love for that to happen as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm just so excited about the opportunity to see this little baby channel grow and it continues to grow every week because of your support and I truly appreciate you. So here we go. We're ending another video, but don't worry, we'll be back again next week with another fun video. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be because last week, obviously, I promised you a thrift flip and it's kind of not coming out. Just really nice yet. So I promise I'll bring it out when, it, when I feel good about it or at least when I feel okay about it. <laughs> I'm lowering my standards. I thought, oh, this is going to be great. Now I'm kind of like, mm, if it looks okay, I'll share. <laughs> Leave me a comment below. I need to know what you liked. I'll see you next week. I love you. Bye. Mwah.